this game is boring. Please make me want to watch. Shut up! Just shut up! If you don't want to watch, then don't watch. But don't watch the game and sit there and go, oh, I hate it. That's the worst. And you people that do that, you're the worst. I never knew, Peter. That Don McGregor was now hosting Golik and Wingle. I got to hear the whole thing because that's just a piece of it. And that's just a piece. And uh, it was a very angry Trey Wingo who, who's a man that always has his emotions under control. Some might say uh, strangely so, but not today. And he joins us now to explain what set him off. Trey, everything okay? Now what the hell do you want, Michael? Wow. What is going on with you, man? <laughs> Well, what was the last time Don LaGreca had a rant? 86 days. No, it says 87, right, but we're on. over 90 by now. All right, so just, just put, put me as filling in for Don LaGreca one day. But something set you off, Trey. Something, something I mean, such yeah. a calm, gentle man you are. Probably the alarm clock after a, a long flight back <laughs> from uh, Atlanta. Uh, no, look, he, here's my thing. And, and whether you like the game or not is fine, but there's nothing worse than people... That are that are watching and then telling me how much they hate watching it yet they won't stop watching it. That but you, I mean, thing of all time. listen, I, I loved what you said, but you don't really yeah. have a choice. You have to continue to yeah. watch. It's a national holiday. No, you don't. Of so course you do. There's a, you got a million channels. You can watch whatever the hell you want. So what, what are you going to watch? The Handmaid's Tale? Or what? I mean, well, what are you going to sure. do? Why not? You no, love that show. The 12th straight game if you want. You don't have you're an option, no Trey. Trey, this you is don't, why you don't have an option. Not not Super Bowl Sunday. Do you remember the show Hill Street yes. Blues? Yes. Okay, you remember who created that show? Stephen Bochco was it? Sure. Right? And that show was very controversial because they pushed the envelope with language and all this kind of stuff. And Bochco said, if you don't like it, then change the bleepity bleep channel. Not the same it's thing. Not, it's not, this, it's not, you can't, see, here's the same thing. All right, here's the exact same thing. And Michael can appreciate this. We both were fans of How I Met Your Mother. We watched it from the very beginning. Love that show. Okay? I loved it for a while. But then over the last couple of seasons, it really got lame, and I really hated watching, and it bored me to tears. But you know why I watched? Because I wanted to find out who the mother was. So I had to stick with it. So in a Super Bowl, I'm a football fan. I'm being bored to tears, but I have to watch because I want to see how it ends. And maybe if it ended like Tennessee-St. Louis, which was another boring Super Bowl, but it comes down to a one yard to possibly win the game, then it would have been worth it. But when that doesn't happen, and I think it's okay to just say, you know what, that was boring, and I don't think changing it is an option. Uh, look, that, look, you can have your opinion. That's fine. My point is don't sit there and hate watch it because then you're, then you're just wasting your own damn time. But there's no option. To, to Don's point, there's no option. I hated the game. Okay, okay <laughs> right, right. But, but for you guys, there's no option because that's your job. No, right? not right? even that, though, because you're already you at already a place where you've convened with friends. You've spent the money on the wings and pizza. You're all there for it. To then be like... Then suck it up and get through it. So then, oh, let's go, let, me, let, me throw on, let me just throw on WrestleMania 3 instead. Granted, I would have been much more entertained, but it doesn't make sense. I watched... Not Don. It wasn't just yesterday. We watched the whole season. You watched the whole season. you got to see how the whole thing plays out. I don't see why... I'm not allowed to complain that that game stunk. It stunk, Trey. It wasn't some great defensive battle. It wasn't the Ravens in 2000 or the Bears in 85. Great scheming oh, by hold two... Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Ravens in 2000, you mean the Ravens that beat the Giants 34-7 to in that Super Bowl? Now, that Super Bowl stunk. That, and, and by the way, I made a joke yesterday. I missed that Super Bowl. At least I would have taken 34 but, to 7. But a Ravens fan could watch like seven or eight glorious highlights. They're going to be a part of their history. I'm not even sure a Patriot fan is going to remember anything that happened in the Super Bowl. Well, see, then, then, then we become blinded to what we're seeing and we're not understanding what we're watching. And that's no, that's, that, don't talk to have. me like that, Trey. Well, I need to understand what I'm watching. Talking right talking right down to you. No, like but no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying like to... Fuck. No, but no, but no, no, but don't, don't play the ignorant card with me. I follow football. I covered it for 16 years with the Jets, but that doesn't mean I was entertained Wonderful. by it. I, no, see, but those are two different things. Those are two different things. You just said you understood what you were watching, but you weren't entertained by it. Those are two separate things. I can understand how you weren't entertained, but understand what's going on there. When was the last time you saw a Tom Brady-led team or a Bill Belichick coach team burn two timeouts uh, with six minutes to go in the first quarter? That was weird, not entertaining. That was weird. Now, why do you think that happened? Because great they were confused. It was a great defensive scheme. You tell by what way Phillips was doing. There was great coaching and great game planning going on in that game. And if that's not your thing, I get it. 
But that's what was going on, and that's what people need to understand. It was brilliant. Yeah, but but, two, but 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 arguably you, the two best coaching staffs in football each had two weeks to prepare, and they came up right. with masterful plans that absolutely undermined what the other team was trying to do. I appreciate that part of it. I appreciate the Wizards chess part of it, the Bobby Fisher element of going up against the uh, all these people and matching them move for move. That part I really appreciate. No, I, I understand that, but but also. <laughs> You know, it does kind of come across as like, well, you just don't understand the game. That's why you weren't entertained by it. I mean, the, I there's a lot, lot of people that, that follow I think the a lot sport. Of people that were, that, didn't. and, I'm not and I, you, I, I am. I I, I know, but I'm saying a lot of people were, didn't understand that. A but, lot of people. I really believe that. But I grew up on defense. I, one of the greatest games I ever saw was that Monday night football game in 90 between the Giants and the uh, the, the 49ers. The game ended 7-3. Tremendous yep. game. I'm seeing hits. I'm seeing quarterbacks both, under pressure. They were pressure. both undefeated in that game going in. No, they, they, they were both 10-1. Yeah, they were both 10-1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but, but you didn't see like... Now you're not, you're, off, you know you're not allowed to have massive hits. Uh, the, the quarterbacks weren't under tremendous... The rest I don't want like one team had like nine sacks or anything. What you see in this day and age, because you don't, uh, you're not allowed to hit, and you're then the overprotectance of the quarterback is what great defense ends up being aesthetically is a bunch of incomplete passes. And so you can understand even football fans saying, you know what, that's but, just, that's a chess game, uh, and that doesn't entertain. I, I don't agree with like Trey busting a gut, but I, I was not bored by that game. It wasn't to me. I it wasn't. wasn't bored at all. It wasn't aesthetically pleasing, but it was fascinating. I mean. I mean, Wade Phillips and Bill Belichick put on a clinic on how to play defense against great Absolutely. offensive teams. Absolutely. I mean, look, to me, this was – you know what I'll remember that game for more than anything else? I swear to God, this is true. That is Bill Belichick's masterpiece. That game was Bill Belichick understanding how to play and, and coach this game better maybe than anyone I've ever seen do it. Because there was at no point in this season did we say, hey, you know, I really think the Patriots are the best team in football. And then they ended up being, once again, the best team in football with a team that never really figured out their, their rhythm or their pattern in the entire season and up against the, the two teams they beat down the stretch. The number one and number two scoring offenses, they found a way to get it done defensively and find a way to win and scrap it out. I think this was Bill Belichick's best coaching season of his career. I, I thought it was amazing. And if you watched um, uh, ESPN afterward, um, Steve Young said, listen, all due respect to Julian Edelman, this is when Belichick was there. He said, you're the MVP of this game. What you did today was yeah. a masterpiece. You are the but MVP. And I agree with him. And that part, and that part, I mean, Michael, you can appreciate, you're a huge baseball guy, right? There are, uh, there are baseball games that other people will think were boring, right. but you'll appreciate the things that you see and the, and the double switches and all this kind of stuff and the moves that the manager makes at the right time in the right place. Uh, I, I'm fine. And by the way, if the game was so boring, it was only a 5% loss from, from last year's Super Bowl, right? Last year's Super Bowl was the ninth-rated thing in the history of the televised Magic Box. So it was only 5% right. down from one of the top 10 greatest programs. Well, there there, there might have been Super Bowls that people were bored with before, but Twitter now gives everybody a, a megaphone. Correct. Correct. And oh, by the way, let me ask you a question. How did that game stack up in your minds watching it to the Giants beating the Patriots in Super Bowl 42? It didn't. It had a higher rating. That may be so, Trey, and you may have really enjoyed the coaching aspect, and it was impressive, no doubt about it. However, had the Patri watching what Belichick did was great. However, to me, sorry, am I going to be so excited that down the road I, saw, I got to see the great job that Wade Phillips did on the Patriots' offense? No. I would have at least enjoyed it if it was just 27 to 3. You can't deny that when it's just punt after punt at both teams, no one takes advantage. And, and not because you're seeing, don't get me wrong, there was great coverage. Marcus Peters had great plays. There was good stuff that you saw. But I, I, it's cool that you appreciated it, but it's kind of being like the cool football guy in the room. He I, is. I love the game of well, football. I watch it every single I week mean, for way too long. What do you, I was bored what do you, to tears. What do, you want me to say? I mean, what do you want me to say to that? I mean, that's sort of what I do. That's what I did for 15 years of the living. I mean, that's well, what listen, I Well, listen, but I would say it's more a you thing right. than an everyone see, else see, thing. When I, when I heard your rant this morning, uh, I, I thought of myself every time I watch, like, an amazing Stanley Cup final... And I see right. the ratings are garbage, and everybody telling me, boy, that was boring. And I go, no, you don't get it. You're not seeing it the way that I see it. Right. And then I exactly. realized, I learned, but you know what? That's that's my bad. That's my problem. Not everybody else's problem. That's my problem because 
the, the rest, it's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, for a lot of the rest of the world. That They're not going to sit there. That's why chess isn't immensely popular, because people don't want to sit there and, and watch two brilliant well, people I, I'm not outwit they, everybody I'm not saying else. they knocked off each other's pawns. I'm using chess as, a, as an analogy of trying to outthink the other person. Right. And I'm not actually saying that game was, I mean, a chess game was being exciting. That's not what I'm saying. I'm using it as an analogy. No, no, I get it, but what I'm saying is is that there can be somebody that loves chess that just doesn't understand why people do not love this game because Correct. they just don't, they, they, they're they looking I, for I, something I get, else get, to entertain I'm them. Fine. I'm fine with that portion of it. My problem was don't sit there and tell me how much you hate it as you watch the whole damn thing. Change the channel. Go do something. That, that, that takes ridiculous. Yeah, that, sorry, that, 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 that's that, too well, strong. Well, you, know what? you know what? It can be ridiculous for you. It's not for me. Wow. Yeah, but you're wrong in this case. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not really. I'm you can't. Good Trey, it, no human being who invited people to their house to watch the Super Bowl <laughs> is turning on Netflix at halftime. You can't. I'm stuck with the stupid game. I'm stuck with, I've been stuck with the Redskins. They're a disgrace. I'm still stuck because with them. You think I'm leaving the game at halftime? So that's, that's, that's a choice you're making. Yes, it's a choice I'm making. But we are crack there fiends it when it comes to this game. I'm hooked. The needle's in the arm. I can't t pull it out at halftime. It was a three-nothing game. It was a, it was a one-possession game until the very end. Look, I I, I, I get what you're saying. I only I, my 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 specific issue, and I swear to you, is only people that are oh this game is terrible, but I'm still watching. Well then, change the freaking yeah, I just don't. Do I don't think else. what what Peter is saying. I don't think that's realistic on this on this day. You know, you, you got to ride it out. I mean, just it's it's the way that it is. To. Because if there it ends up being a – because No, anything. here's why you have to. Because if they kick the field goal and they get the onside kick with five seconds to go and there's a Hail Mary touchdown, you would have missed one of the greatest moments in the history of the sport. So you got to ride it out just straight. to see. So, on, but after on. that doesn't happen, straight. Trey, you so, can analyze on, it and say, good. I was this bored. Is good. This is good. This is good. So let me get this straight. Your whole argument now is that – it could have been the greatest comeback in the history of the world, right? That's what you just said. If, 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 if these things no, he didn't say that. Left. He didn't say that. So, but a great ending. Said, oh, it could be, yeah. A great. So, so in other words, my whole point is that it, would, it couldn't have been that terrible if that scenario still played itself out with five seconds to play.